Okay, gang, I told you yesterday that we had a very special event happening, and it happens to be Joanna, and she just turned 55 officially. <laughs> so you do you know that I actually had your birthday on my calendar, so I wouldn't miss making sure that our 55 plus family knew you were one of us officially now. And many of you don't know her story and that's why <laughs> I wanna bring her on because I wanna introduce her with a bang to all of you. And I still look a little weird, but that's because I'm still overcoming. I do still have some level of COVID going on, but I can't give it to you, Joanna. So you're lucky, you're fortunate that way, right? But yes, amen. I, I am so excited for our family to really get to know you. And obviously, I'm going to have you on many times and feature things and have you teach things and share. But for just now, I, I won't mm -hmm. sing happy birthday to you because I can't sing ever. Like ever. <laughs> so I will do you a favor because you sing happy birthday to everybody, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I can't sing. So I'm going to give you a favor by not singing happy birthday to you, sweet. <laughs> but um, and I was so looking forward to finally meeting you here at Summit that just took place. And what a tragedy to not get to be with you there. I was actually going to celebrate your birthday there in a really special, I had some really special ideas. So next time we're together, I'll have to pull off those ideas. Yeah, but, definitely. But share with our family, because I so want them to get to know, share a little bit about yourself and and your journey, because you aren't just an addition to our 55 plus. Joanna, mm -hmm. you have made a big mark already in DDPY. And that's why I want to make sure they know you. And then they follow your posts. They reach out to you with questions. I want them to know what has your journey at DDPY been, been like for you? Well, it has been life-changing and life-saving. Let's start with that, life-saving. Um, before DDPY, I was in a very, very dark place. Uh, I tried to take my life away and that was kind of like, uh, last thing I, I remember of me wanting to do, um, because I just felt overwhelmed. I felt like I used to call myself a fat pig, ugly, you know, and I was tired of always giving to everybody else, but not taking care of myself. And that really took a toll on me. And I just, I just didn't want to live anymore. Let's say it that way. And then I came across the, what everybody has come across, the Arthur Borman a video. And even though it inspired me, the man that inspired me the most was Diamond Dallas Page. Because he never gave up on Arthur. He gave him the tools. And he kept on pushing and going until we see Arthur's transformation. So I said, I want that. And it's not that my family doesn't support or love me, but I wanted that type of support, you know, and encouragement. I wanted somebody to be behind me. So actually the next day I joined, uh, but before joining the next day, oh, when, it when was, was that. When was that that you joined? I joined January 22nd of 2023. That's something I'll never forget on a day I never forget. Mine's January 20th, uh, the year before. So we're just yeah. two days. So we're, we're really close. Three. Yeah, and then I saw your inspiring video and I saw um, Candy's and Wendy's. And those really did a mark on me. And you know that I've always told you, I. I can't wait to meet you and give you a huge hug because you inspired me so much. So I started at an 195 pounds and by the six months ending, I was already at 145. So it's incredible how this program helps you if you um, put in the work, okay? So it's not a miracle pill. It's not something that you're gonna take and abracadabra, you know, you're skinny or you're healthy or you're mobile, no. You have to use the three pillars. So you have to change your nutrition mindset and you have to do the workouts. You know, you have to be physically involved. Yeah. And it has been an amazing journey that it's my new lifestyle because it doesn't end at the six months. This just keeps yeah. going. Yeah. And a lot of people don't understand that. You know, it's not just a six month challenge. It's a lifetime uh, challenge. And it's so rewarding because this community 
gives you so much love, support, empowerment, encouragement. And they're there, like I've always said, in the good days and in the bad days. And then you try to give back to the community. So like you, I'm working on uh, my fast track coaching, which I have one of your 55 plus guys, Michael Catastraro. He's with me oh, and we're working out. We're, we're, we're doing good. And I, I just want to give back to the community. And that's the only way I can to helping others. Wow. Wow. And, um, <laughs> you know, you mentioned that the community is there for you through the ups and the downs and the ups. So just before we began, of course, we were chatting about my COVID and I wasn't able to be at summit with you, girl. Yeah. But you also shared with me <laughs> the challenge you, you had. So I know uh, people think that, you know, once we've uh, especially had the belt, right? You're the, uh -huh. champ, the recent champ, um, that everything goes smooth. Um, share with them what just happened to you and why it happened to you. Yeah, well, I just suffered a car accident and uh, I suffer from a whole bunch of conditions, but one of them is insomnia. So I had two days that I haven't slept and I went to take my mom to an appointment and thank God I left my mom coming back home, not even a block away. I fell asleep and I hit a tree. So car was totaled. I got a broken sternum. I got fractured ribs, but I'm alive. So a car can be replaced, but your life can't. So it's good because it takes you back to your humble beginnings. So now I have to start my workouts in bed, in chair. I actually was at Summit and I was modifying like crazy. So, and it didn't, it didn't make me feel less than anybody. It made me feel equal because I'm still doing the workouts. I'm just modifying. So it's just important to know to where you can, your body can go or you can take your body, right? So going back to my humble beginnings and I feel very damn proud of it because I think that if I wasn't in the shape that I was with this accident, it would have been worse. Same as the cruise. I fell down the stairs and had to go back to my humble beginnings. And after I'm okay, here we go again. But you know what? God is there and I'm alive. So yeah. yeah. So in in January, well, December, my mom passed away, which that was 58 days of no sleep caring for her. And mm -hmm. then a couple of weeks later in January, I tripped carrying something in the garage. I didn't want it to drop. So instead my knee took the whole hit. So yes, unbelievable when you go back to the bed and you go back to the chair and you're thinking no that this isn't my story you know mm -hmm. and yeah and you guys this tells a lot about who she is because going through all of that car accident she, you still showed up at summit now i oh, yeah. showed up too except for i was carrying a virus that mm -hmm. i didn't want to share covid which i now found out a couple of days following cold uh Summit, that there's already Summit. five or more people that already got it from there, but at least I didn't bring it in there. But I was so thrilled. Um, just before we got on, I was looking at some of the pictures because I shared with you, it's hard for me to look at the um, Summit pictures. And it's because oh. I so wanted to be with all of you guys, right? But I did look at him a little before you and I got on this and it's just beautiful. I'm going to post some already uh, underneath this so people can see, but it's beautiful watching you there with everybody and just the joy that you share. Mm -hmm. um, I feel so grateful that you're in the 55 plus because, Me too. because there's a whole, there's a whole richness that you bring to this um ddpy world and um it has been in fact some of your culture and your your mm -hmm. maracas you had the maraca there right Isn't no it? i have the pandereta though oh what is that that's not a maraca no oh, this no, is the pandereta not... the maracas are the yeah oh yeah, so yeah, I, yeah, the yeah. I got the pandereta <laughs> <laughs> so you bring your own richness of your culture your enthusiasm um it is so powerful you guys, and I will be, I'm putting them below this, but your before and after your six month mm -hmm. journey is living proof. Um, and so to give them just a little glimpse of what it was like when you got the call that said you were a champ. 
Oh, wow. It was amazing. See, now you're going to make me cry. It was amazing because I didn't expect it. I didn't do this for the bell. I did not do this for the money. I did it because it was my last lifeline. And I, I wanted to give it a try and I wanted to live. And, and that's what I tell everybody. If you're in the challenge, don't do it for the bell. Don't do it for the money. Do it for yourself. So to get that phone call and hear that I was a champ, I, I couldn't believe it, you know? And, and I remember I told Dallas, I, I said, I didn't do it for the belt or for the money. I did it because I wanted to live. And it's so rewarding, you know, because you do this with so much love. Well, first of all, you start a little skeptic on it. Let's say the truth. I was a little skeptic. It was $119. I didn't pay a light bill to be able to buy the app. So I'm like, okay, I'm worth more than that. I'm going to give it a try. And then when you start seeing your changes, you're, you're evolving, your mindset is changing. You see that you're, you're building apps, you're getting stronger and you love what you see in the mirror after you hated that person so much. Yeah. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. The self-love, the self-esteem, how everything empowers you mm -hmm. is amazing. Yeah. Well, we have a lot actually in the 55 plus that are in the Positively Unstoppable Challenge yes. for 2024. I've got them all on a list because I follow them and cheer them on. And I'm telling you, I know that there's a segment of that that aren't saying anything, but they're thinking about not turning in their three minutes. Oh, no, video, no, no, no. They? And they need to, don't they? They do. And, and, even if you think that you have not done enough, just turn it in so you can close that chapter. So you can say, I did this, yeah. you know, and, and, and you can be proud of yourself. Like, come on, you already did it for six months and you're not going to turn it in. You know, no, you have to turn it in. It yeah. doesn't matter if you win or not, you are already a champion. So it's not about the belt. It's about you. Look at yourself. Look how much you have grown. And what you have gained out of it. Like I've gained mobility. I've gained youth. Yeah. I feel younger. I'm 55, but I feel, I feel much younger. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And when I was creating my three minute video specifically, I thought to myself, cause I was like, you, I never dreamt. I never <laughs> dreamt they'd pick a senior. You know, I was 67 at that point. Now I'm 69. Never dreamt. Right. But that, that would have happened. Um, so, but when I was creating that three minute video, I thought to myself, gosh, I wonder what friends and family that I know that will find hope in this. Mm -hmm. So going through that effort, I considered it to be a tool I could use for anybody that I felt yes. needed some hope that knew me that I would just send it to them. So it was worth it. And it, I don't know about you, but it stretched me. It really stretched me to create that. And it took me to a new place I never would have gone to uh -huh. um, and, and for me it was I said to our son I don't know if I had anything like bad before right uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm like and early on he goes I think you'll figure it out and so one day I realized oh my word I planned my funeral two years before this I planned my funeral I got the cemetery stone already out for my husband and I up in Iowa. I mean, I was not, I was thinking nothing about death for the two years before DDPY. So I called up our son one day. I said, oh, crud, I think I know how bad I was when I began. I said, mm -hmm. all I was thinking about was death. Like, yes. Like you, because I couldn't walk. I mean, I didn't mm -hmm. see a lot of value yet. <laughs> and he goes, I figured you'd figure it out, mom. Yeah. Yeah. And that only came. Uh, so I turned in my video, um, my, my stuff two days before the end. So whatever oh, wow. that is, September 31st or whatever, yeah. 30th, two days before the end is when I turned, because it took me that long to take my own personal journey. So I sure hope everybody in our 55 plus family take the time to do that. And even the 500 word essay, I found that. Yes help stretch me too didn't it to you yes it was and and the video you know I'm not techie I'm still not techie all I did was I I, I put the play on my camera and I spoke mm -hmm. and I said how I felt from the beginning to the end 
which was a total undeniable transformation. So if you're not techie, don't worry. That's why they have Steve U for. You just <laughs> talk and, and, and put everything out. That's all you have to do. And for the essay, again, just say what comes out from your heart. Exactly. And and they'll they'll do magic with it. Yes. You just be you and they'll do magic. Yes. Well, sweet friend, happy 55th birthday to you. And you know, you know, I'm gonna have you back on to talk to our family, share things that are on your heart, help with the teaching. There's all kinds of questions that come into the family. And as I see them accumulate, it's like we make sure and answer those. So I'll have you back on so they really get to know you, but start following her, you guys, because oh. she is a gem. You are such a blessing. And thank you so much. My heart was with you this last weekend at Summit. <laughs> Even if I wasn't there, my heart was totally with you, sweet friend. Oh, yes, it was. Yes, it was. I, I am blessed to, to have had you, not met you yet, but to have had you through my journey, because I know Every question I had, I was like, Pam, this, Pam, that. And you would answer so quickly and nicely. And you were always so humble and sweet to me. So thank you so much. Oh, I love you so much. I love you and too. Happy birthday, girlfriend.